This is Mabumbo Wetland, located nearly 50 kilometers from Kampala, Uganda. In addition to its beauty, Mabumba provides a host of tangible economic benefits to people. The benefits provided by ecosystems, like Mabamba, are all too often taken for granted. Mabamba is an important bird area and it is a, a wetland of international importance because of some of these roles that it plays as a habitat for birds, as well as providing livelihoods to the communities. In the community, we have different people doing different activities in the wetland, like fishermen, they have to do fishing for home consumption and commercial. And we have boatmen, they transport people to the highland and we use them to take clients to do birding. In addition to these services, the wetlands also purify water, help in flood protection and serve as a buffer to the emerging threats of climate change by acting as a carbon sink. But wetlands are being lost at an alarming rate. Wetland coverage in Uganda has dropped to almost half since 1994. Mabamba is a very important wetland to this community and to the nation at large. We are seeing a lot of encroachment in terms of farming, sand mining and bush burning, which is affecting not only the quality of the wetland, but also the entire wildlife sector. Fortunately, like many countries across the world, Uganda has begun to recognize the economic importance of wetlands and the contribution of natural capital to its wealth. The World Bank's Global Program on Sustainability is working with Uganda and other countries to measure the contribution of natural assets to people's well-being. The goal is that this will lead to more informed decisions about the use and protection of these resources. Major policy decisions in the next decades will have to address trade-offs, for example, saving the wetlands for flood protection and other services versus agricultural production. In the short term, draining wetlands for agriculture may seem more profitable. It's very important to quantify all the services provided by the wetlands which are enumerated to justify its economic values to the economist and the planner to rethink in resource reallocation in order to reduce the negative impact of draining wetlands. These benefits are not just for the local community, but for the country overall. Policymakers are realizing that economic growth is only possible with careful management of natural resources. The accounts that are coming out will show us the extent of the natural capital we have in this country and it will help us to design and develop proper systems and policies to conserve our natural capital. What you can't measure, you can't plan for and you can't count. So it's better that we really have these accounts and integrate them as part of our overall planning for this economy.